everybody, it's Rick Denzine. Hey, you know how Tesla redesigned the location of their memory stick, you know, thingamajigger, and uh, now it's inside the glove box and you can't really get at it. It's in the center, which is a bad location, and you really can't grab a hold of this nice slippery device and then pull it out. It's almost impossible, especially with my long spidey fingers reaching in there and trying to grab that in such a narrow space. So I'm gonna show you how to build a Tesla memory stick grabber out of chopsticks that you were gonna throw away anyhow. And all you need is these tools. A little needle nose plier, maybe uh, like a little knife to carve with, a paper clip, and some tape, and maybe some glue. Okay, so the first step is to get the kind of chopsticks that are kind of flat up here at the head. And what they are is they're, they're made this way and just split them apart like that. So if you can't locate them, there might be another way, but this is the easiest ones to get a hold of. They're, f they're, uh, they're flat, as you can see, and they're very easy to, uh, to put together, get together. The next part is once you've carved a little divot in the side, like this, you can see there, right? Just a little bit of a rounding out, just enough so you can fit that thumb drive right in there. I'll put it right in there, so just for show. So that's the second step here. So we wanna line these up and then glue them together. Okay, so what I did was I took the tape, which is the ordinary tape that you use to masking tape for painting. I just kind of stuck this together. Just like that. Now I'm just using ordinary super glue on the wood, but it's, it's well, not ordinary. I'm using ceramic super glue on the wood here. And I'm making sure that the center one is nice and wet. I'm gonna lay one of these. Once you get the chopstick position the way you want, you just wrap it up and leave it sit for a while. I want to put a little band in the middle too, just to double check that one. I would suggest wearing protective gloves like nitro gloves when you do this because super glue, any kind of glue really is super sticky. So you want to make sure that you don't get it on your skin and then skin to skin something because it can be painful. So then you flip it over and glue the last piece right on top so you wind up with this kind of thing. Now this, you may be wondering what's this going to be for. This is to push the thumb drive back into place because it's impossible to reach. So this tool will help do that for you. Okay, so we also want to drill a little hole all the way through the end piece. That way we can insert our paper clip as a removal tool. So, in the end, it should look something like this. With a little hook right on the end. That way you can catch the end of this thumb drive. Easily. And then I have all this extra string that we use for the National Drive Electric Week. The Drive the Future EV Showcase. I'm going to make a nice little handle out of it for this. So after a few minutes, of wrapping this actually it was just throw away string I was gonna throw away you should have something like this little handle and then you can fancy it up by doing some spooling on these tines here and then I put shrink tube right on the end there and then at this end I also shrink tube around the hook right so this is how it would work just insert like this Tesla T to the top Pick which, what's going to be your top. That's nice and secure, and you can push it right in place. 
If you're going the other way, say that this was the glove box on this side. Just reach into your glove box with your hook, pull it out. But you should actually have a string on there. It's much easier to pull out without the tool. You do a widow and then tighten up, and now you've got a lanyard for your Tesla dongle. That's it. Pretty cool. We're going to try it out in the car now. So here we are on the Tesla screen, club box, and then the box opens up. And you can see that I've got just a little bit of stuff in there, not much. But already, it's too much stuff. My emergency masks, paperwork, more emergency masks, and then way in the back, right back there, that's where this thing is. It's hideous. So, you saw me take my Tesla dongle, push it in place. Got my Tesla T, and just push it. And in it goes. Just wiggle it back out, give it a secure push, and it's there. Totally cool. To reverse it, to get it out, I could use my dot, my lanyard and just pull it out. But I got this little tool on the end. Okay, it went dark. Oh, there, it pulled out. And slide it right in place. Wiggle it back, slide it off the tool, and then just give it a double push, secure, and it's fine. And then of course, take it out. I do have the, the string on there now, the lanyard, so I could do that or I could use, just use the tool. Once you have the lanyard on there, it's much easier. So there we go, put it right on out. So I hope this was helpful. Sure works good.